Hey guys, so I've been working on a pretty big React application and the way I've been setting up my folder and structuring the files and where I'm putting all my components is just not working out anymore. I'm not liking how I'm doing it. So I want to kind of show you what I'm doing and some thoughts on some new ways I'm thinking about trying out. So right now, here's pretty much how I've been structuring a lot of my React applications similar to this. Now this is just like a dummy blog React application, nothing, these are all blank files. Um, but this is kind of how the structure would work. Where I would have an index file here, which would import routes. Each route, um, and I would have like all the routes in index.js, and each route is a page on the website. So for this blog, I would have three pages about, contact, and home. And then any components these guys would use, uh, I would put in a just a big components folder up here. So maybe comments, footer, nav, post, sidebar, um, any kind of co components that are shared between these guys, I would put up here and then import in and use them. Now, the problem that I'm having is this components folder itself is just getting basically huge and not very organized. And what's happening is I have a lot of one-off components that are not being used with different things. And I don't know what that component is being used for. And it's not very helpful. So basically, this folder is getting huge with one-off components. So I need to somehow add more folders into this to organize it. And I was thinking something like this. So for example, here's something that would come up. So let's say I have like a main layout. And my main layout component here would maybe use the footer, the navigation, and the sidebar. Now maybe the about and the contact page and the home page all use the main layout. But they're not using post, or not post, but nav, sidebar, and the footer, for example, um, directly. They're using it through main layout. So doing something like this, where I create a main layout folder, um, and then I move this guy in here, and move my sidebar in there, my nav in there, and my footer in there. Because I'm not using these components anywhere except for this main layout. And then renaming this index.js. So something like that. So now my components, I can see I have a main layout component, a comments component, and a post component. So now my main layout here might be composed of a lot of little components, but I can kind of see a as a big level um, what my main components are and then I can dive in if I want to know more how a single component is being basically uh, implemented and then also instead of having these as just JS files doing a similar thing uh, maybe my uh, for example my home page is using post but no other page is um, what I can do is create a home folder put my home in here put my post in here um, and then create maybe an inner components. Um, and these are just the components that the home page is using. So I put all my shared components in the components up here. And anything that's just specific to this route, so for example, posts, I just put that in the components folder there. And then rename that to index. And then again, that's a little easier to see. So now I can see my routes. And I can see my components up here that are shared. And then when I'm curious how my home is done, I can see the components right here. Um, and then any other components that are shared are up here as well. So that's what I'm thinking about trying out and seeing how I like this folder structure compared to the old one. Basically adding in more folders and inner components. Um, but I'm curious how you guys do um, your folder structure as your React application grows to huge lots of files all over the place and many pages, a lot of components shared across. How are you keeping things organized? I'd be curious to know. So leave me a comment below if you have a big React application, what you're doing, because I'd love to know. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.